Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a weary land, in a weary land. Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a weary land, in a weary land. Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. I open my mouth unto the Lord, and I won't turn back. I will go, I will go, I shall go, I shall go to see what the end is gonna be. I open my mouth unto the Lord, and I won't turn back. I will go, I will go, I shall go, I shall go to see what the end is gonna be. Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a weary land, in a weary land. Jesus is the rock in a weary land, a shelter in a time of storm. I would not. message today is entitled, This Abnormality Takes Us Deeper. This Abnormality Takes Us Deeper. Brothers and sisters, during the 10 days of prayer, the church wants us to focus on the theme, a deeper experience. And we have already said it, and you can find the information elsewhere, that the experience we need is not the experience of kneeling in prayer, but experience in our relationship with God. We need a deeper experience with God. And today, we are talking about an abnormality that takes us into a deeper experience with God. I want to say that an abnormality is something that people may not like. We prefer when everything is normal. Yet this abnormality takes us into a deeper experience with God. This abnormality takes us deeper. Abnormality is something that may not be natural, it may not be usual, it may not be typical, and it makes you stand out as funny and different. But this abnormality takes us deeper. Abnormal goes opposite of what would be normal. Abnormal 
could be sickness and therefore excusable. But today we are not talking of abnormal of sickness. We are talking about abnormal that is deliberate. For you to be abnormal deliberately, it takes courage and power to be abnormal deliberately. This abnormality takes us deeper. Brothers and sisters, forgiveness is the abnormality that facilitates a deeper experience with God. Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness is an abnormality that takes us deeper into our experience with God. To revenge and punish those who offend us is normal because it satisfies our anger. But to refrain from revenge, to refrain from punishment is abnormal to human nature. Yet, this abnormality of forgiving is what takes us into a deeper relationship with God. To defend yourself and claim innocence is normal. We are told that in one of the schools where children were, the teacher came and asked, uh, class, before we begin, I want to gauge your knowledge. Uh, who killed Jesus? And the teacher asked the first child, can you tell us? Say, no, not me. I've just arrived this morning. <laughs> what about, no, it can't be me because even yesterday I was not in school. What about you? No, kill Jesus? I, I can't harm anything. I've never killed anyone. It is normal, it is natural for us to defend ourselves even when we are guilty as charged. I want you to know that. It is normal. To say you are not guilty is normal. In fact, the first reaction is to say you are not guilty. Even when you are caught in the act, you say it wasn't me. Somebody even did a whole song about it and produced all the evidence but kept repeating that it wasn't, it wasn't me. That is normal. That is normal, brothers and sisters. That is normal. But to kneel down and confess and say that I am wrong, I am a sinner, I am guilty, that is abnormal to our nature. That is abnormal. And yet, this abnormality takes us deeper into our relationship with God. So, brothers and sisters, what have I come to tell you? I have come to tell you that if you can confess and repent your sins, you will go deeper in your relationship with God. And if you can forgive those who offend you, you will go deeper in your relationship with God. You will have what we call a deeper experience. But without confession and repentance and forgiving others, I want to tell you that you may be in a deep relationship but not a deeper relationship, and you may not be going anywhere. When you read John chapter 8, we have told about a woman caught in the act. She was caught committing adultery. Adultery is a sin bigger to many people than any other sin, but that's not biblical. 
For the Bible, disobedience of God is sin. And this woman caught in adultery in, very, in, in a small summary that Jesus forgave her. With all evidence available, Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. John chapter 8, verse 10 and 11. And when we meet this lady later on in Luke chapter 8, verse 1 to 3, we find her as number one, a disciple of Jesus who follows Jesus openly. And number two, she is recorded in Luke chapter 8, verse 1 to 3, this lady Mary Magdalene as one of those who provided for Jesus. When a prostitute, professional prostitute with the highest rating in the village meets the forgiveness of Jesus, she becomes a disciple and a sponsor of the ministry of Jesus Christ. In spite of all shame, she followed Jesus. In spite of all the little money she may have had, she gave to the cause of Jesus. So what does that say? When we are embarrassed to be associated with Jesus is because we don't have a deeper experience. Anyone who has a deeper experience with Jesus does not need a big bag to hide the Bible while walking in town. Anyone who has had a deeper experience with Jesus is not embarrassed to be identified as a Seventh-day Adventist, a believer. Because when this lady had a deeper experience, she continued following Jesus, even when people are gossiping and saying, that is the prostitute, that is the prostitute. She did not leave because of people's gossip. There are so many people leaving the church because of gossip. You know why they leave? They have not had a deeper experience. When you have a deeper experience, there is no amount of gossip that will separate you from Jesus. This lady was a prostitute, and clearly if she had a better job to do, she would have done it. Being a prostitute already tells you that she was poor. She may not have had education or skill. Her resources were few. But the Bible lists her as among those who supported Jesus. The reason why we don't support the church and its programs is because we have not had a deeper experience with Jesus. The reason why the bag passes, the offering bag, you are just seated there listening to powerful music from our music team here, and you hold the bag this side and swing it the other side without even feeling embarrassed that how will the church run when you have pocket money and part of it cannot end in that bag? When you get money here and there, and part of it cannot end in that bag. But this lady, with so few resources that she ended up being a prostitute, came back now without the prostitution, and out of the little that she had, she put in the bag to support Jesus. This is what a deeper experience does to anyone who has a deeper experience. Brethren, I would have told you about Paul the Apostle's forgiveness. And I would have told you about two men who went up to pray. But you are very intelligent. You have already understood what I will say. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 14 and 15, that if you forgive others, your heavenly Father will forgive you. What did others do to you? They talked about you negatively. What did you do to God? You have denied him throughout your life. And do these two things that are not comparable, God says, if you forgive the small offense that was done against you, I will forgive the big offense you have done against me. This abnormality takes us deep. I want to ask some three questions. 
Number one, is there anyone in need of grace to forgive others? Is there anyone who needs grace to forgive others? Let me see by the show of hands. If you need grace to forgive somebody, let me see by the show of hands. Put it down. Question number two. Is there anyone in need of forgiveness from others who are too hard on him or her and they wish that God intervenes? You need forgiveness from somebody or some people, but they are too hard and you are asking God to forgive. Let me see by the show of hands. Put it down. Number three, is there anyone in need of forgiveness from God? Let us pray. Father in heaven, you have seen the hands that have been raised. We need to experience the abnormality of forgiving and being forgiven. Thank you for Jesus who has forgiven us. And teach us to forgive others. And if there are people who need to forgive us, we pray that God of heaven, you will intervene that we may experience the joy of forgiveness. We pray that this abnormality of your grace will take us deeper into an experience with you is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.